Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have to look at the latest from the UKV as it's looking likely to be reasonably unsettled over the next five days. You could see lots of showers in the north that could fall to snow at times and we are going to see some heavier rain especially in the south as we are going to see a bit of southerly tracking jet stream. Not southerly tracking enough to produce anything widely wintry but still likely to be chilly especially further northwards. As we'll see from the longer range charts, we are continuing to see blocking appearing over the course of the next couple of weeks. But again, no consistency. That is what we are lacking at this stage. GFS, similar to yesterday, trying to put in a bit of a northeasterly or easterly wind in its extended range. And the other ones are producing some form of blocking. But again, it's very volatile. And as I said, no consistency between runs. And as we see with the ensembles, there are some very cold runs appearing. We have to admit that. But equally, there are some average and above average runs as well. And no real consensus. So it is going to be a very difficult one over the course of the next week or so. As very, uh, well, various different patterns are on the cards as we head through towards the end of February. Of course, there is the sudden stratospheric warming that is now likely to occur, and there'll be a video out on that tomorrow, so do stay tuned for that, because that could really spice things up and make the blocking patterns perhaps have a higher chance. Uh, so we will just, as I said, have to see. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, which you like and subscribe, and uh, remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link is in the description. So if we do go through the latest UK V, you can see over the course of today, we're going to see lots of showers in the north, some of them still falling as snow in places, but most of the snow is now clearing. Further southwards, you continue to see showers packing in off the Atlantic, uh, especially for parts of the Republic of Ireland, South Wales and South West England could be quite heavy and thundery in a couple of areas. And we are going to see some persistent rain drift along the east coast. Uncertain how far this will drift in land overnight Saturday into Sunday, but there is the risk that we could see some quite heavy persistent rain. But at this stage, the majority looks like it's going to be out in the North Sea. Through Sunday, it's actually looking like a little bit of a drier day. That rain out towards the northeast and then a few showers elsewhere, but nothing too crazy, as I said, uh, in a slightly drier day. As we progress into Monday, again, showers start coming off the Atlantic. And again, some slightly cold air mixing in, so a few wintry showers further north. But again, that's not abnormal for middle of February. And then finally into Tuesday and Wednesday, again, continue to see showers pushing in from the north and the west. And then further southwards, we do see some more persistent rain pushing in, as I said, with that southerly tracking jet stream. Could be pretty heavy in places and pretty horrible indeed. Could be a bit of snow on its leading edge, but for most, it's going to be lots of heavy rain and pretty miserable conditions through Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Now, if you put in the upper air temperatures, you can see generally it's going to be a big mix, uh, but nothing too, uh, or nothing towards the extremes over the course of the next five days. Lots of chillier air masses in the north, but of course, milder in the south, and that's where we're seeing the heavier rain. So a bit of a north-south split, but no real, as said, extremes expected. Through this afternoon, again, temperatures up towards 10 or 11 degrees in the south. For the north, it's maybe towards freezing. And then as again, as we head into Sunday, again, a little bit chillier, but still most areas into the mid to high single digits, maybe just about double digits in uh, somewhere in the east. And then into Monday, certainly chillier for all, maybe an overnight frost in places. And then by Monday, again, more around that five to eight degree mark. So trending back towards average, but still again, nothing too crazy. And that's similar for Tuesday and for Wednesday, where it's going to be chilly in places, uh, but generally uh, cooler further northwards and milder further south. And actually by Wednesday, that milder air does start to dominate with perhaps 11 to 13 degrees seen further southwards. Now, if you do have a look, as, of, as said, at the longer range, as we'll see from the latest GFS, things are going to continue to be interesting over the course of the next couple of weeks with blocking patterns still looking pretty possible. Uh, you can see over the coming days, westerly winds continue without southerly checking jet stream. And that's why we are seeing those cold rain masses further northwards and the heaviest rain further southwards. But as we head towards day 10, we start to see higher pressure migrating northwards. And the GFS today again brings high pressure up towards Iceland and Greenland and trying to bring in a northeasterly wind. It's not got particularly tight ice bars, so the air mass transition is not particularly quick, which means that actually, if we put in the upper air temperatures, we don't really get any cold air in. Yes, it goes slightly chillier, but nothing really cold actually gets in, so it's kind of a bit of a false flag block there. But regardless, those sort of 
minor things like the exact air mass we're going to see is something to deal with in the longer term but again it, it is a little bit more consistency from the gfs still producing that block to the north but there's not a lot of cross metal consensus i must say with this pattern if you have a look at the latest GM, it's really not having any of the blocking in the longer term. Again, westerly winds continue to push in, so the checking jet stream initially, and then towards day 10, do see some higher pressure to our north. If we look over the northern hemisphere, there are some higher pressure blocks, but really nothing substantial at all. GM not showing much uh, and suggesting pretty much a westerly flow, generally pretty mild for most. Uh, with some cold air to our northeast, that is looking like a consistent factor. Cold air towards Scandinavia, but not getting towards the UK at this stage. Could happen further on, but we're not seeing it in its current time frame. If you look at the latest ECMWF now, it is actually pretty similar. Westerly winds continue with a southerly tracking jet. That jet stream returns further northwards as we do start to see some blocking push northwards. A bit more substantial block towards Greenland up towards the Arctic. You see some quite big blocking there, but really not troubling us at all. And again, you can see a pretty flat jet stream. The upper air temperatures are actually pretty mild indeed. And you see the 300 HPA winds coming flat in from the west. If we were going to see anything cold, we need to see this big amplification. Again, it is possible towards the last 10 days of February, but we're not seeing anything too distinct on this latest ECMWF run. Hints, but again, we need to see something concrete really before we can start to say blocking is looking like the likely pattern. And after you finish by looking at the latest ensembles, again, you can see this pretty well. Over the next week for London especially, it's going to be generally around average, slightly above at times, or more often than not, and slightly below at times. And then as you can see, towards the day 10 period, we do start to see some very cold runs appearing. But you can see the ensemble mean is generally around the 1991-2020 climatological mean, well, which gives the indication that it's quite a few cold runs, quite a few milder runs, uh, so lots of spread, lots of variety, uh, so no consistency, so not really giving us much of an indication of what we are going to see. Uh, so cold runs are possible, <laughs> but I said no real major consistency with the GFS today. If we look at the ECMWF, Pretty similar, to be honest. It's very similar to the next week or so. And then it's the longer range, generally, again, around the average mark. Some very cold runs appearing, again, getting down to minus 10 level or lower, potentially even beasts from the east type air masses. But most are generally around the zero degree mark and around that average point. So, again, the hints are there for the longer range. But for the time being, we're looking generally average, pretty unsettled in the south. Further northwards, plenty of showers moving in, but the persistent rain for the short term is looking more likely further southwards. And I said risk of something colder into the second half of the month. But at this stage, it's just hints, and we've got to keep a very close eye on it. Of course, we've got the SSW, the major sun stratospheric warming arriving potentially in the next week to 10 days, and that could have pretty quick impacts on the, the troposphere. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But that could mean these cold runs suddenly ramp up very quickly. Uh, and that is just going to be one to watch over the next five to seven days or so as that starts to become uh, we'll start to, uh, all that will start to feed more into the tropospheric outputs uh, as we head through the second half of February. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for that stress-free video tomorrow. And I'll see you again for another video soon.